Welcome to Getting Started with SQL Power Wabbit, connecting to a data source. For those who are new to the Wabbit, this demo covers the basics of connecting to your data source. From the Wabbit starting screen, click on Create a new workspace. This will bring up the Connection Manager with a list of defined connections including the demo connections that come bundled with the Wabbit. To define a new data source, click Add. Here you'll be asked what type of data source to connect to. For this demo, we'll connect to an Oracle 10G database. Now we just enter some basic login information. Connection name will be your unique name for this Wabbit connection. Select your database type from the drop-down selector. Now if you're using an uncommon database platform that doesn't appear on the list, you may need to define a new database type. If so, you should refer to the Frequently Asked Questions section of our website at sqlpower.ca slash FAQ for detailed instructions. So once you've selected a database type, some platform-specific options will also appear. For Oracle 10G, we'll need to enter the host name and SID, which allows Wabbit to auto-complete the JDBC URL. Then, just enter your username and password, and we're ready to test the connection. Although Wabbit comes pre-configured with many JDBC drivers built in, some users may encounter this exception, JDBC driver not found. If this happens to you, no need to panic. Just save this connection as is for now, then go back to the Wabbit connection manager and select JDBC drivers. From this screen, just select the database platform you need, click add jar, and then locate the desired JDBC driver. Then click OK, return to your newly created data source connection, and retest it. If you can't find your JDBC driver, or you're experiencing other exceptions such as timeouts or connection refused, you may need to consult with your IT staff to make sure you have the correct settings or permissions. Once you have tested successfully, you can return to the connection manager, select your new connection, and hit the start button. And we're in! Now that Wabbit is connected to your data source, you're ready to start building queries and reports.